Hello everyone and welcome to another custom figure showcase. So I gave you a little teaser um, and a, in a live from the workshop of uh, this, uh, which is my 18 inch Davros and he is finished. Now I'm going to point this out now because I know people are going to say it. One, it is not screen accurate and two, I'm well aware that Davros is too small. So it's two things that lots of people have said to me have said whilst they're looking at this they're going oh it's missing that oh he, he's a bit small isn't he or oh Davros looks really small oh Davros isn't that I know okay it's it's you know you don't people don't need to keep telling me I'm well aware of it but anyway um, I'm really pleased with the way this has come out and I'm really really happy with uh, with how it's all uh, come together you know it, it really looks great alongside the other 18 inch Daleks um, and you know it really couldn't have come out better so uh, to give you a rundown, this is uh, if you've if you've already seen my life and workshop video, you're going to know a lot of this already. But I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, run over it again for the benefit of those who haven't seen it. This uh, 18 inch uh, Dalek base. This is actually uh, a red Supreme base, um, but it wasn't a working. What you know, I know people are like, oh my god, you can't have taken apart. You know, destroyed one of those. I didn't destroy it. I got it. It wasn't working. I had lots of bits missing. I tried to fix it, and it just it wouldn't. It was very, very badly damaged inside, um, with water damage, and and I don't know what had happened to it. But it, no matter what I tried, it wouldn't work. And it didn't have the light. It didn't have the arms. It didn't have the eye. Everything. So, you know, it really was in 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 lots of pieces. So, um, I originally uh, made it up, and you can see it in this original format. In my 18 inch Dalek collection, I turned it into a gold and black Supreme Dalek, um, which again, it looked nice. It was, you know, my own sort of take on it, but at the end of the day, it just, it was always a bit of an oddball in my Dalek collection. I was never overly massively happy with it. So this sort of gave me the opportunity to do something a bit different. And so, you know, I, I took it, I took it, took it apart, took it to pieces. As I said, you know, there's still, uh, video of it as it was before um, you know and I was thinking what Dalek could I make then you know what what could I do you know what 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 change you know essentially looking at this supreme figure that's a very it's a lovely figure I've got the you know the full size one I've still got one that works fully very nice looking figure um, you know model it's amazing but it's a very specific Dalek design and and as such there's not a lot else you can do with it so I was left with this sort of slightly erroneous, in incomplete Dalek. I didn't know what to do. And bearing in mind it had the gold globes and everything on it, I was looking at it thinking, well, actually, if I took the top, I was thinking, it's a real shame we never got Davros. And then I thought, well, why don't I make Davros? Now, the problem with making Davros is I have to find an 18 inch figure, which obviously I did. I'll come back to that in a minute and why he doesn't look completely uh, the right size. But so. I cut the top half off the Dalek. That took a while in itself. They're very, very well built. It must be said. That's one thing. <laughs> the uh, the uh, remote control functions of these um, are very temperamental. But as a model, uh, you, they're very, very good. So, um, so yeah. So I cut the top half off, and then I built the uh, the base, this main base bit of the chair and uh, his control panel, and I built all of that together. And I sort of had it there. And it was more, I hadn't glued th this bit on yet because I thought, well, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I might want to do something different. I wasn't sure whether to go for a new, a classic Dalek or a new series Davros. Obviously, I went for a, it's, all, it's, it's a bit of a hybrid in a way. Um, a hybrid? <laughs> yes, hybrid Davros. Um, but, you know, I decided that with the big bait, I would go for a new series Davros just because it would be the easiest thing to do and it would involve a lot less modification of things like the base. So once I'd put the um, control panel and everything together, I could have that and it would sort of give me an idea of, of figure size and things like that, which comes on to the main body of Davros. Now, uh, it is amazingly hard to find a large, action, a cheap large action figure. The larger you get, I mean, you know, you look at some of the Hot Toys things, they are, uh, in Sideshow Collectibles, they're 12 inch and they're sort of 200 quid. So, you know, trying to find something, because I couldn't I couldn't build it from scratch. It was, it's just impossible, like I, I don't have that talent. So I had to try and find a figure that was cheap 
that I could modify, that I could take apart, and that I could buy more of if I needed. Um, so I had a look around for ages, and I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. And then I was in, um, I was in uh, Argos, and I noticed a Darth Vader figure, uh, very tall. And I thought, well, I could use. I could, if I heavily modified the body, I could I could use that, you know. And it, you know, I didn't I didn't still don't know what I was going to do for the head, but the body certainly I could I could mould and, and you know I could do some little bits with it. Um, and I sort of looked at it as an 18 inch figure, and um, I was I was really you know impressed with this figure, the fact that it was an 18 inch figure. Um, and so I sort of thought when I got home, thinking, okay, well actually, is Darth Vader the only one they do? And it turns out he's not. They do many others. Um, and so, what I ended up with was a Luke Skywalker Rebel body and Darth Maul's head. Now, annoyingly, the perfect head would have been the Emperor because he's already very grizzled and saggy looking and it would have taken a lot less um, uh, sculpting and things like that. And he is the one figure, <laughs> one of the few figures they don't appear to make, which was, which was annoying. Um, but generally, as I said, you know, it was an 18 inch figure, this was an 18 inch doll, like I thought, great, absolutely perfect. So I put the body together, I trimmed down um, the, uh, I trimmed off, I actually had to alter the body quite a bit, so I had to add on some um, milliput and, and sculpting bits to cover some of the bits. Not a, not a material I'm very well good at working with, hence why it does look slightly rough and when you get up close to it, um, it's, you know, I don't know how well it looks on camera. But uh, when you get up close to it, you know, there are rough rough edges, rough patches, things like that. So essentially, um, there's no joint in the arm. The arms were the first thing. Now, the, this arm stuck out a lot. Uh, both arms, in fact, stuck out a lot. And so, unfortunately, uh, it left me in a position where I had to actually completely, almost completely take this figure apart. I had to take off this arm and then glue it closer to the body. Trim it down, actually. Uh, shave it down bit by bit until I could glue it closer to the body and then use hot glue to make up a new shoulder. The arm joint, the elbow joint, uh, this arm does still move. It is very stiff, but it does still move. Essentially, this is... Um, I had this, this arm was straight, so I had to cut this and then remold in a new joint. And if you do, again, I can't really show it on camera. Uh, without having to move everything, but this is very rough around the edges, but it, it still looked right. It still had the right position, the arm still looked good, and so it was exactly what I wanted. The hand itself, um, again, it does look quite big, looks quite um, out of place, and the reason for this is um, I started to trim down the hand um, so I could essentially add bits onto the edge of it, trim it down so it was smaller and then add bits onto it, but the problem is the hand's hollow. And so once it got to a point where I trimmed down, I trimmed off, uh, trimmed it, trimmed it, trimmed it, and it got to the point where suddenly I was actually inside. I was in. I was the, the hand was hollow and it was falling to pieces. Um, under the top of here is just a huge gaping hole, and unfortunately, uh, you know, I I didn't want to destroy it, and I didn't have, I don't have the capacity to mould and sculpt a new hand. So I decided to sort of sculpt around it. And it, it, as a hand piece, I'm really pleased with the way it's turned out. It looks very good, and um, you know, it, it looks very mechanical, very much like Davros's hand would do. It's a bit, you know, it's big. It's a bit, looks a bit out, out of place and a bit big, but you know, it's. I did the best I could with the pieces that I had, um, which leads me on to the problem with size on here. Now, the Dalek is advertised as 18 inch. The Star Wars figure was advertised as 18 inch. They apparently are measured 18 inches in two different scales. And now, this is where I don't know anything about scales. In hindsight, I probably should have known this, but 18 inch does not denote the same scale, it's worth pointing out. You know, in hindsight, I look back at that now, I'm thinking it's fairly obvious, but at the time, you know, I really wanted to get it complete and I really wanted to get it done, um, so I just didn't think, you know, thought on my part there. But that's why Davros looks quite small, but just generally, um, the, the thing is, I actually have to say, I think, the way that this is put together, and like I said, it's maybe because I haven't got things like the um, the uh, clasps on Davros's uh, tunic. I haven't put those on. Um, it sort of has a sort of quite hybrid look. I quite like the look of it in that it, he looks like a sort of classic. Because thing is, in in his classic format, Davros was always very s small and, and squat in his chair. I thought so. I really like the sort of hybrid look this has of a, of an old Davros, uh, a classic series Davros in a new series chair. I was very very happy with the way that came out um, 
but just generally, you know, I molded it to a, to a new series Davros look. Um, so the head is a Darth Maul figure, as I said. Uh, I had to completely repaint this and I had to sculpt this uh, very much uh, using Miller Putt and things like that. Again, it's not, from a distance, I'm really pleased with it. And from a distance, it looks great. It looks like Davros and things like that. When you get up close, you really can see the rough edges and you can see, um, you know, the fingerprints and things like that. It's, it's the first time I've tried using Miller Putt and things like that. And it's, it's, it's a great thing to work with if you can use it. But it's not something that's that's very easy. But um, Tom Fan from the forum, I give, give him full credit. He really helped me out with tips and tricks and things like that. And it would have looked a lot worse had it not been for his uh, information. So I really can't thank him enough for that. Um, the uh, the actual the eye is actually uh, from a five inch uh, da a five inch um, Dalek sphere that I've just stuck in place with a bit of hot glue and then just molded the skin around it. Um, Again, you know, very simple trick, worked very well, uh, and it, well, you know, I was very, very pleased with the way that came out. Um, obviously, all painted over with uh, acrylic paint, uh, different shades and things to give him a sort of, you know, aged and mottled appearance. So, if we move on to the back, now this is the bit that's probably that people are going to scream uh, continuity and, and uh, inaccurate the most because uh, obviously Davros has, if we look at his five inch counterpart, you can see that he's got these holes on the back. Now, I tried to do that originally here, um, and I put this. I put. Uh, I made made a, a template first of all of uh, of the pieces, and then I actually this whole piece. This is actually version two. Uh, version one, essentially, I added. You know, all of this was fine. All the sides was fine, and then I came to do the back bit, put the holes in, and then once I glued it together. And I sort of put it in place, I had it in place, I didn't glue it, thank god, because it would have mean I had to take all this up, but I put it in place and sort of, I had it held with elastic bands and things whilst it was drying. I took the elastic bands off and the whole thing just caved in on itself. And it, the problem was that I couldn't, I know it seems really weird because they're such small holes, but I couldn't add them in here without it becoming uh, unstru uh, unstructured, uh, unstable. You know, it, it has to be, to, to keep it structurally integral, the holes need to be removed. You know, if you're doing something with plastic, it works great because plastic's a very, a very tough material. But this is, you know, this is, although it's heavy duty, it is cardboard backing board. That's, you know, there's no getting away from that. Uh, so, you know, it, it is, it is still a very soft material. Um, so, unfortunately, you know, I couldn't do things like create the, uh, the accuracies there. But just generally, again, you're not going to see them from the back. <laughs> And so from the front, I'm really pleased with the way it's come out and it really, you know, it, it really has the right brace look. The head brace has come out very well. That's all um, stayed together and, and uh, fit, fitted together really well. Head doesn't move, obviously, but then he's got, you know, the shoulder things. And as I said, if I bring it in for a bit more of a close up, the uh, control panel is something that I'm very proud of. Um, it, you know, it's just literally just very, very simple bits. These are all just dabs of hot glue that I've just painted over. And um, and literally just put it together using very very simple techniques. But but as a piece, I, I you know I'm I'm really really proud of the way this has come out because it looks so good against you know against a, a uh, another of the 18 inch Daleks. I've got one down here. I'll bring it in. You know he's again you know he's not. It's quite dusty. <laughs> he's not you know exactly the right size, but um, you know he looks he looks quite short and things like that. But. At the end of the day, if he's you know facing off against the Dalek, essentially it might be quite hard to see in this. In this, it looks like the Dalek sits a lot taller, but actually that is almost dead on from his eye to the Dalek's eye. It is you know almost in perfect line. And the thing is, Davros would be a lot smaller than the Daleks because you know he's quite old and decrepit and everything like that. So you know it, it really did work very well. I think it worked. It came out a lot better than I was hoping it to, and. Um, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of it. I'm really pleased of it. And uh, it was just, you know, I've got, uh, I think I've lost count now. I've got about eight. Is it eight? Just count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So including this, this one, I've got eight of these now. Um, so you know, uh, you know, I've got, I've got all the, I've got the main ones. I've got, the, I've got Dalek set. I've got a standard gold Dalek. I've got a gold Dalek with a, with a claw. I've got the Supreme, uh, and then customs wise, I've got this guy. I've got my Asylum. I've got Rusty, and I've got a, uh, 
a supreme guard. So you know, it was it's great thing to have as a, as a collector's piece, um, and you know, it's it's a great custom. I'm really you know I'm really happy. It's certainly not including my scratch builds. It's definitely the biggest uh, of my customs, um, and you know I'm I'm really pleased with it. And it's it's a great it's a great piece, and uh, it couldn't have come out better. Uh, so as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share. It really helps me out a lot. And I shall see you all with another video very soon.